Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Jeeves. I'm an old composer here and I am having an absolute blast right now uh, enjoying this segment of my channel which is diving deep into video game and anime OSTs and music. Um, very, very powerfully energized pieces of work as I'm sure you know. You guys have been giving me these incredible like list now of um, OST uh, video game and, and anime music to listen to. What I love so far about this journey is that there has been a very unique, like it's not just all big banging classical music and, and hybrid. There's all kinds of styles that have been kind of tripping through EDM style, OST, hybrid, metal, uh, EDM with orchestral work. So I look forward to all of that. Uh, what I'm doing today is, uh, let's see, what am I doing here? Elden Ring OST Godric the Grafted. And the composer is, I think, I, I did some homework. If I'm wrong, please forgive me, but uh, Shoi Miza, 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 <laughs> Shoi Miyazawa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just woke up, first cup of coffee doing this, you know, so, and I'm an old, I get the old man pass too, you know. Brain cells, eyes to brain cells to mouth. It's a little slower than, than it used to be. Uh, so let's do this. I'm excited. Uh, this is Elden Ring OST, Godric the Grafted. All right. Okay, more is to come, but it looks like this was like a little break. So because I don't play video games and I don't know uh, what this music goes up against in uh, this game, I'm sure those of you who are Elden Ring fans will probably be playing that in your head. Um, what an incredible use of dynamics in this composition thus far. When I talk about dynamics in an orchestra, I'm talking about the, the, the actual nuances in which the section or, or that phrase, let's say, in the music is being played. Whether it be it very loud, or they're doing very unique thing with bouncing the bows against the strings and stuff like that. Different ways of pizzicato, you know, that are being pulled harder, lighter, softer. These are the dynamics that have to be relayed to the musicians on the piece of paper. You know, there's all these little notes before, let's say, a few bars and stuff on how to approach this or, or on the bar that, it's, that those things approach on <clears throat> or those dynamics happen on. Uh, one of the things before I go on I wanted to mention, one of the things that I find so powerful about th this kind of thematic music is that Nordic approach. You know, that Nordic sound to, you know, we're going across the big sea, rah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So they have the power of the bottom always happening there. But something that's really fun and what I really love about this, this composition is the intensity of the arrangements are still based on one note. And what I mean by that is, if you listen to the bottom end, you're going to hear, dun, dun, 
Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, 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 da. So it pulls you and keeps you locked in to a pulse. And <clears throat> musically, that dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, that's how it really locks you here. So no matter how dynamic or way out there, some of the arrangements might pull you, whether they take you into a good place, a dark place, a happy place, a foreboding kind of place, a dark place, that dun, dun, da, 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 is still kind of like what I, what I like to say on my other channel. It's like the zip line of the arrangement. It keeps you in there. All right, let's continue on. Jeez, I'm telling you that those brass rips are so powerful. Uh, the bottom sections, for you, if you're hearing, if if you're not familiar with uh, the works of orchestral works or composition, where you hear those rah, those kind of rushing rips, those are you know brass rips and stuff like that. Though such a powerful part of uh, orchestral works when it comes to bringing that punch and power in power in we hear it on all the pirate movies and stuff like that those brass rips are an integral part of the dynamic um expression of uh, of a brass section if you would in this kind of like i said nordic style pulsating kind of thing man if there was there's there's such fun what's called devisi uh, that seems to be going on and what that means is that a single like string section of violins could be split into two and while this one might be going da 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 the other one's going do it you know it's it's so wonderful to listen to this because there are so many layers to the arrangements that are going on here now tell me really quick um is this this must be another one of those vocal you know giant choruses and stuff if they have if this is their own language too I'm learning so much about that so that's why I ask you guys um, uh, it's because now I'm going down that rabbit hole going whoa that's trippy that's they have their own language for you know the game or for the you know uh, for the game uh, but um, 
Now, it, and finally, the last thing I want to say that was really funny is when I first stopped was how it was on that just dun 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 dun, dun. When I came back in, obviously, it bloomed into a little more motion uh, in, in, where those, in where that was going. They did still stick with, or, or the composer did still stick with that Nordic kind of vibe. But the thing, the whole glow for this is that as a, as a body, of, as a piece of work, it was very, very powerful. I can only imagine what scene this must be going against. Maybe I should look up, uh, maybe there's a, a trailer or something like that, because I'm sure that that'll, you know, heighten my experience uh, a lot more. But that's what I love about doing this and not knowing the game, since I'm not a gamer, you know? I'm, just because I'm old doesn't mean I'm not a gamer, I just haven't played games since back in the Halo days in the 2000s, you know, so. Anyhow, thank you so much, uh, once again, for your suggestions, for hanging out. Um, I, I have a very large rabbit hole to go through. On the, the, last, the last one that I did, there's such a list of people coming by and, and sharing their enthusiasm from what I'm doing, but now I've got this ginormous list. So thank you guys so much. If you want to support me, if you're still here, just type in I'm still here. You could share, like, and all that sort of fun stuff. All right, everybody, take care. Have a killer day. See ya.